What's up, Bugly? Remember when I was talking about how Johnny Knoxville and The Rock became cops together? Well, this week, we're gonna talk about another Johnny Knoxville movie that would never get made today. So a year after he got that Dwayne Johnson cosign, Johnny's like, what can I do to wait around for a year before I get hit by a bull blindfolded? Oh! That's right, pretend to be retarded in a movie. We're still bleeping that out. I'm just asking, retard. But if you guys didn't know, back in 2005, Johnny Knoxville was the main character in a movie called The Ringer. The movie was about Johnny's character Steve accidentally injuring his gardener and having to pay off his $28,000 medical bill. His uncle Gary, played by Brian Cox, talks him into joining the Special Olympics to do that. The only other people you probably recognize in this movie are Katherine Heigl, Jeffrey Wren, who's the Snozberry guy from Super Troopers, and then Edward Barnabell, who you might remember from Jackass 3D. With that being said, the Special Olympics Committee has endorsed this movie, so before you press enter on that comment, why don't you just wait to see how many times I say retard before you get mad? Now that one is bleeped out, right? So the movie starts out with Steve getting the promotion he asked for, and just as he's about to leave, his boss is like, Hey, can you fire this guy? Do me a favor, will you? And, uh, fire Stavi. The janitor? But seeing how nice Stavi is, Steve can't bring himself to do it, and instead hires him to mow the lawn at his apartments. This then leads to him losing his fingers. By the way, this all happens within the span of like five minutes, so they waste no time in laying down the storyline. But this is where Steve finds out he needs $28,000 for Stavi's surgery. Well, how much is it? $28,000? Not including the anesthesia. And honestly, he can either pay that $28,000, or make one free call to immigration and have the government pay for his problems. But Steve isn't me, and he agrees to come up with the money. Later that night, he calls up his uncle, who already owes someone else $40,000 for money. And right when he's about to get beat up by this random-ass trio, I mean, look, we got an Italian gangster, a biker, and then his mechanic. But right as they're about to end his life, a commercial for the Special Olympics comes on, and his uncle notices that these guys are intrigued by a black man with He's doing things they can't. Incredible. That guy's the Deion Sanders of retards. I said special needs, by the way. But after Uncle G makes it home, he's like, Steve, I have this great idea. I saw this episode of South Park a year ago where Cartman pretends to be We are gonna fix the Special Olympics. And after seeing Stavi in the hospital with this temporary crab claw, he's all like, how do I have to act? And for some reason, Uncle G is weirdly prepared. And just like that scene in South Park, Steve goes in front of the mirror and tries out some different characters. Can we also just talk about how we thought retards dressed back then, or how hipsters dress today? I'll see a guy dressed like this with the hottest girl in the world, and I'm like, is that all it takes? And she's like, no, he has a huge fucking dick. But eventually they agree on this persona named Jeffy Dahmer, because... <laughs> But as they're entering him into the Special Olympics, where South Park makes it funny, I would like to sign my son up, please. Yeah! It's just hard to watch. Can't get my, can't get my tongue! Uh, yeah, it's a really stupid expression. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a bad Dr. Seuss title. <laughs> <laughs> he then gets showed to his room, and he realizes that, just like us, they have their own bullies. You know, we've established that. Hey, don't give me two. You scratch my CD. But now Steve needs to compete in some qualifiers, and here's where Steve finds out that just because it has the word special in front of it, doesn't mean it's not the Olympics. <laughs> While he's doing that, Uncle G is back with the guys he owes money to, and is like, I'll bet you 100000 on top of the 40000 I already owe you that retard Deion Sanders isn't gonna win the Special Olympics. You wanna bet against the great Jimmy? Uh-huh. You know something? You're sick. You need help. I like how it's always the people who are about to murder you who start telling you how bad of a person you are. Like, listen here, you motherfucker. If you ever litter on my streets again, I'll kill your dog. Like, I just missed the trash can doing a Kobe. You don't have to take it that far. We then see Steve trying not to blow his cover. My name is Thomas. What's your name? Jeffy. Tomorrow, I go to talk to Karen. She's a real good swimmer. And she can jump high, too. And don't worry, I'm like... 75% sure you're allowed to laugh at that. A limo then pulls up, and the guy they saw in the commercial from earlier hops out, and he is a straight-up Down Syndrome douchebag. Can I hide the autograph, please? Get it off eBay. Who is eBay? Steve then eats lunch with the people he has to assimilate to, and honestly, that's like some catfishing on X Games mode, but I don't know what it is, but they always seem, like, they know when you're not one of them. It's like God took a chromosome from them, but gave them a sixth sense. And after one of them doesn't pass the ketchup, Steve drops the voice and lets these niggas know who's here voluntarily. You mentioned that. But if you would pass the ketchup, I would really appreciate it. You talk different. And after he bullshits his way out of getting caught, monkey see, monkey do. And it's not just because the character's black.
When he gets back to his room, the guys he's been hanging around let him know that they know he's faking it. We know you're not special. Yeah, you think you can fool us? Yeah, I do. Watch. You see this gold coin? I'm gonna turn it into a quarter. All you do is just slip it behind here. Look, nothing, nothing. Put it down right here. Say, uh, like a magic word, please. And then... Look. And then for even more shits and giggles, look at that. Bet you didn't know how that worked out. But after he explains in detail why he's there, they're all like, as long as you beat that obnoxious retard Jimmy, we don't care that you're probably breaking the law. Yeah, we're sick of Jimmy winning all the time. Jimmy that prick. So they start training and watching Steve work out, you would have thought he had special needs. <laughs> And after a couple days of that, he's like, I deserve a break, and decides to spend time with Lynn. When they get back, the games begin, and after losing to Jimmy in the first race, Uncle G is like, how can you actually be losing? And I'm not sure how to explain this, but I'm pretty sure it involves melanin. But later that night, Steve wants to sneak all the guys out and go to the movies. When they get there, they notice Lynn's boyfriend with another girl and call him out. You stopped off for ice cream. When the fuck did we get ice cream? The next day, when the second round of events starts, Steve manages to make it into second place, just five points behind Jimmy. And on the final race, just as Steve's about to win, Jimmy's all like, ah, oh, the oppression, and falls down. Don't feel bad for him yet, though, because Steve goes back to help him, only for Jimmy to be like, psych, you thought, and even then, he still loses to the guy who looks like if Beans from Even Stevens had Down Syndrome. During the award ceremony, Steve is like, I can't take this anymore, and comes clean. I'm not mentally challenged. Surprisingly, he wasn't arrested, which gives me an idea. But then the movie randomly skips six months ahead and we actually see him end up with Lynn. And usually this is the part of the movie where I say if you should go check it out or how the movie is, but this is one of those movies to where if you didn't even know it came out, don't even bother watching it. It's kind of like, who's your caddy? Would you believe the guy who wrote this movie was one of the original writers from Family Guy? I wouldn't, but he was. You guys want to know something really retarded? I gave myself this tattoo the other day. I don't know if you guys could see it, but it says WOM. Because I want it to be like, look at my mom tattoo, and then when people look at it, they're gonna be like, that's, that's just, that says, that doesn't say mom, it says wom. That's how I pick my tattoos. Master builder, not master baiter. 